Hi, my name is Jackie Bondell, and I am the Education and Public Outreach Coordinator for OzGrav, a gravitational wave research collaborative with headquarters in Melbourne, Australia. I'm coming to you from lockdown, so my current office is my home. In November 1989, I was just shy of 12 years old and in middle school in the United States. I vividly remember being at my school's basketball team practice and being told about the fall of the wall. Being young, I didn't fully recognize the profound impact. However, it did end up influencing many of the experiences of myself and my family over the following years. I put glow-in-the-dark stickers on my bedroom ceiling when I wanted to be an astronaut, and I borrowed my mom's stethoscope when I wanted to be a pediatrician. But I always came back to teaching, whether it was playing school or volunteering as a tutor, I kept finding my way back to education. I would say yes, I've spent years in the classroom teaching students from very diverse backgrounds and learning every year how to be a better teacher to meet students where they are and bring them on a journey to be better scientific thinkers. There's often a perceived wall between the work scientists do and the everyday lives of the public. But as a society, we need a populace that understands the world as complex problems and needs well thought out solutions. Utilizing collaborative, immersive, and low-cost virtual reality, our project focuses on engaging audiences with collaborative storytelling and interactive observations, encouraging them to ask questions. In this time of worldwide pandemic, inspiring STEM engagement is vital, especially with audiences that don't usually self-select as being interested in STEM. With our accessible and transportable VR experiences, we travel to regional areas of Australia to visit low-resource schools, community centers, and indigenous events to ensure that we are meeting people where they are. The COVID pandemic has inspired us to create web-based versions of all of our VR content so that we can continue to engage. Blast Off to the Virtual Universe is a set of collaborative, interactive, and personalized VR experiences, bringing the most exotic objects from the universe to students, educators, and the public by using scalable VR resources to introduce the public to the science and story of gravitational wave detection. The first detection of gravitational waves in 2015 provided a new window to the universe. We aim to inspire families to partake in science together and enable students to collaboratively investigate extreme physics using this new technology. We were most surprised at how effective the collaboration of participants in our program is. We see students embrace the opportunity to provide peer-to-peer -peer support during the virtual investigations and observe families and friends guiding one another. Shared VR experiences allow visitors to embody a virtual space, traveling through the universe and engage in science with multiple senses. The embodied cognition VR affords adds an extra level of engagement and retention for all audiences. As mentioned earlier, bringing science to people that don't usually engage with science opens up new conversations about the positive impact of science in our society and leads to an openness to trust science and use it to help solve major issues. We specifically use gravitational wave science to do this. Some of the technologies developed via the Science Benefit Society in the form of early warning systems for earthquakes and self-driving cars. And major projects like this provide employment for thousands of people and add to the economic base of every country involved. My children are school age. They love to get to test the new content we develop in VR before it goes out to the public. But I think the fact that my teenage daughter wants me to come to her classroom to host a science lesson indicates that this project resonates with her and her peers at an age when girls often start to lose interest in STEM. The biggest questions I have are whether the way in which we are trying to bring science to diverse audiences is having an impact. We have started working with education researchers and we want to see if this has a longitudinal impact in engaging students to the extent that they would continue to want to study STEM and investigative audiences that don't usually engage with STEM would do so more after engaging with our initiative. The part that keeps me up at night is questioning whether our initiative is accessible enough. 
How can we bring it to more diverse populations? And now how do we deal with engaging virtually during this lockdown? Can we make it more accessible with as many groups as possible? 